in this example, I will uh, explain some simple example using the RE module in Python for regular expression uh, analysis. So import RE will in, uh, put the RE module into the current uh, Python environment. And DRRRE is to use to see what kind of function we can see in, uh, I, in the RE module. So, okay, so and many of the useful module can be seen in uh, a function can be seen in search, split, uh, split, and also uh, final. Those are some other uh, function are often used. So. I'm going to use an example like this, uh, say line. Uh, this is basically uh, someone's, uh, say, run 1.0 mile in five minutes on, on a day. So I want to calculate the average speed by passing out this uh, mile and minute from this line. So I'm going to use a regular expression pattern called, uh, so either a digit or a dot. Uh, use a square bracket, so that would be uh, more than more than one. So that's the mile. So so for one pattern, followed by space, mile, tab, and then again uh, digits or dot, followed by minutes. That's my uh, pattern. And then I use re dot search search this uh, pattern in line. Line is my uh, this whole line. So, and then see, let's see how this works. Okay, so, 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 this is what we got. Results.group. How do, how do I know what result, uh, what kind of function we can see? You, um, so this is uh, the result is a returned uh, object of the RE search. So it has something, some uh, a function provided like a groups, and uh, also uh, this another singular group, uh, index, and some other method. So, so here it has two groups because my regular expression pattern returns two groups. When, when a uh, closed smooth parentheses indicate a, a group or pattern. So there's one group, and that's for 1.0 mile. There's another group, uh, that's for five minutes. So I then basically uh, need to uh, calculate uh, the average by, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we can also look at the, the matching position of this. Uh, so it starts from the position 12, so go back to uh, be aware the tab uh, backslash is just one position, so this one start at uh, number twelve position. So in fact, uh, result group one, this should be one point zero mile. Group two, so but I cannot do uh, those are strings. So notice they are in a uh, quote. So those are the uh, strings. I have to convert them into a floating number and then calculate the average. So basically what I have to do is just to say the average speed is equal to floating point convert out the first group divided the floating point version of the second group. And there, so that average speed 0.2. Okay, so here's another uh, uh, example. We can, we can change the search pattern and look at more things. For example, I hear are looking for uh, all the digits uh, in the in this line, so there. So here the search pattern is backslash d plus means multiple digits. Uh, this r means it's a for raw input, basically uh, suppress Python's interpretation of a backslash. Uh, it's taking it literally, otherwise it's a uh, uh, it's like, in this case it doesn't make difference, but uh, it's it's a good habit to, to keep it there. So here I'm using the find all uh, all matches of the digits. So it found the December. So this is a, the original line. Uh, 
here is the all the digits I found a one twenty twelve one. Now notice here I didn't found the the point, so it actually split the, the one point zero into one and zero. So if I change that digits into uh, if I change the search pattern into let me see into change our bracket. I see, and then we run this full line again. Now this time it's going to put all those uh, uh, decimal points um, all together. So it's 1.0, 5.0. This probably is more making makes more sense. Okay, let's do another example to map, say, uh, uh, a more biological relevant example. It will map the eco R1 site uh, restricted enzyme site in DNA. So the eco R1 uh, recognize a DNA pattern called GAATTC. So I made up a, a small fragment of DNA sequences. So it has actually, I purposely put a two eco R1 site here, GAATTC, here's another one. So the first one is at the position six, the second one at the position 21. And see how Python can find this. So now, uh, to to make sure uh, the pattern matches, I actually convert all the DNA sequences into uppercases, and I'm going to store uh, the store the RE site. Oops, uh, uh, in this list RL RE list. So let's run this to learn our code. So my DNA is this, my pattern is GAATTC. So I'm going to search, uh, search the do a first search of the pattern, and then uh, look at the starting position and append. I cannot index my list. The list is an empty list right now. So I'm going to append the first position of the match into the restriction and then list. And so let's run this. Okay, so it shows this first match start at position number six. In fact, uh, in fact, we can actually look at the DNA from number six. That yeah, it start with uh, G A A T T C. So we and so the list R R L now contain the first uh, position of the match is that the uh, position number six. So if we want to match the more, and how do we find that? So we have to uh, search for the pattern in DNA sequence beyond that position. The, the first position we know is RL0, and we're going to move it one further, so that's plus one. So that's a DNA sequence plus one. It's going to there, so it's going to move from move the, from this uh, number six position and move on to AATTC and then look for further match of GAATTC. So here we basically do another search moving downwards and look at the starting codon and append the result into the registry and then this. Now when we, because this match is moving down below, we have to add those uh, distance back uh, to, 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 to recalibrate the position back to the RE to, for the uh, list. So, okay, let's run this result. We pull out code. So, so my R, so it actually says start at the position number six in the substring. Uh, because that position started uh, uh, from number, uh, this string is actually started from number seven in the original position. So I'm going to add a six plus one, the 21. So RL should be in position six and uh, 21. If we look at the, the original DNA sequence, indeed one, the first one is number six, the second one is 21. So yeah, so we can also use Let's say this result found all. See what happened. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, there's no proof. Uh, 
There's no dual place time. Uh, let's see what the. Uh, uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to have some useful result. Uh, function we can do. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have useful. So, uh, I'll say this one does not seem to work. So we have to do this uh, step by step. The, this found all doesn't seem to work well. So we have to use a search to match one. So, well, but there is a different uh, approach. This is called compiled pattern. Uh, this is called alternative approach. Uh, Python just say using a compiled approach makes it run faster. It also provides some additional method to do the search. So to compile a pattern, basically use ie.compile. After we compile the pattern, then the search can be run directly on the compiled pattern. So, so I'm going to search a compiled pattern in DNA started at position zero. So this is the starting at persis position zero. That's the first position. And I'm going to sh then I will show the, uh, the matching result. After I search, uh, after I got this result, I'm going to run this on DNA again. This time I'm going to start at the, the uh, position move by one base. So move to the right by one base. So result of the start is this. I'm going to search again to the right by one position. So that's result of two. So let's see how this works. Let's compile compile the pattern. So the first match is at position uh, 6. So in fact, uh, that is again is position 6. And then I'm going to move to the right and search again. There. Yeah. So position 21. This time uh, it's actually more straightforward. Uh, we don't have to recalibrate since the Basically, the pattern of the search will take care of the indexing position. Okay, I hope this is helpful.